moving on to the the wine glass the we have our wine in and we have our background in so we can just start adding the glints and shines on the wine glass itself I've transferred it it's barely there and that's okay I will just find it but I have my liner brush loaded with with warm white that's the rim of the glass and this is where the light is striking the front of the glass directly. That is our, our high shine. And because this is glass, the light is going to strike here and then across that back edge. And then we can actually see it traveling down the back inside of the glass. Now I rarely connect up the ellipse as it travels from the front to the back. It's, it's a very tricky little area, so I just let the eye connect it up. We also need to add the walls of the wine glass. This is thin down warm white. I'm just adding the walls. We don't want it to look outlined, so I'm coming back now with a, a flat brush. Just bringing that in slightly. What we also have going on is the pass-through light because there's nothing to stop the light. It passes through opposite of the primary shine. So this is where our pass-through light is in this lower right, uh, lower left section, just exactly opposite. And again, that's placed on. And blended in. And it's always more effective if there's a value change. can also have just a, a few shines across the front to say, well, this is the, the inside. This is the outside. So by putting on some skim shines, you definitely tell the viewer what's the inside and outside of the glass. I've also come in with orange. And defining the glass outside edges with adjacent color is just much more exciting than just always finding the shines or the edges with with warm white. So there's uh, the bowl. I keep trying to make this a little bit more even. Now working our way down to the stem. This has just some little round areas. And then an actual little ball shape. And all I'm doing is just letting my brush define the lights on the outside edge or you know slightly in then we'll come back and define the rest and then 
finally the the foot. So interesting how you can just through glints define the glass. A little bit of pass through light here. I'm going to come in with the, the blue tint. And this is pass through light, pass through light, pass through light. Connecting it up there. Then through color, I'm going to find more of the edges of the glass. Because we're going to assume that the, the orange is casting a lot of color over here. Just trying to retain a very light section all across the front to find this edge with some reflected color from the orange. And then shadow work will help to find the, the base as well. But the less that you can put down really for the best because the viewer is happy to fill in the blanks for us so that's the the start of the glass it'll get refined a little bit more with some darks when it's dry um, I think it's it's time to start our our uh, our final shines and shadows <laughs> 